So, what is linear equation? Well, linear equation is a polynomial equation in which the unknown variables have a degree of 1. Well, I'm gonna give you an example of linear equation. So, let's say x plus 3y is equal to 20. That's an example of linear equation. So, right now, we're gonna jump into a trick of how to solve linear system of equations x plus 2y is equals to 11 then 2x plus y is equals to 10 so first things first that we're gonna find for the x so how are we gonna find for x well first thing first is that we're gonna times the coefficient and the constant the coefficient of y and the constant why why, why I'm choosing coefficient, coefficient of y? Well, y is a, is a variable. And if we include y in x, well, it's going to be x, y. And y? Well, y, we're finding for x. So, let's, for, let's say y is not important for x. y is not in, important for x. So, we're not going to include y. But we're going to use the coefficient of y. 2 times 10 is 20. Also, guys, uh, remember, great test before the list. Because if you use least to the greatest, well, it's gonna give you a wrong result. So remember, greatest to least. So 20 minus. So there. So as you can see, there's a coefficient one there beside y. I know you can't see it; it's empty. But if there's a variable without an without a coefficient, it means it's always one. So. 1 times 11 is 11. Also, this is a crisscross. Okay? No, not crisscross. Like, it's a cross. Okay? It's not straightforward. It's just, it's a cross. That's why 2 times 10 is 20. And 1 times 11 is 11. So, over. So, here, here we're gonna times the coefficient and the coefficient. Yes, and again, it's like a crisscross. So, 2 times 2 is 4. And again, again and again, greatest to the least, not least to greatest. So, 2 times 2 is 4 minus by 1. So, let's, equals, let's equal those number. Then, so, 20 minus 11 over 4 minus 1 equals to 9 and over 3. So 9 over 3 is equals to 3. We found x. Yeah, we already found x. So let's find y. Then, yes, again, to find y is like finding x, but in an opposite way. So instead of coefficient of y, we're going to use coefficient of x. Let's find for coefficient of x. So, 2 times 11, again, it's like crisscross. 2 times 11 is 22. And again, greatest to the least. Always remember that, guys. Greatest to the least. 2 times 11 is 22. Minus 1 times 10 is 10. You see there's over. Well, it's still the same. The coefficients are the same. So, I'm just gonna, re I'm gonna rewrite 4 minus 1. So, let's... So, equals to... 12 over 3 equals by 4 so 12 over 3 is equals to 4 so we already found y we already found x and y so our final answer is 3 and 4 so we're done so we got 3 and 4 that's the trick for finding the x and y of a linear equation